Hello everyone, it's Matt here and this is a review of 70841 Benny's Space Squad and the box actually says which characters we've got so we've got Benny in the blue, Kenny in the yellow, Lenny in the pink and then Jenny in white and the set contains obviously your four spacemen of various uh, X any uh, naming we have a small uh, robot we have a small spacecraft and we have a small rover with two clips on the back for tools and you know, sort of things so quite interesting to note is the part variations between then these space figures or the original space figures would have been released and these in 2018 so the scanner for example has no anti-stud on the underneath now uh, the um, blaster here um, is a lot plainer compared to what the original was. Um, the walkie-talkie is obviously uh, updated, it's not more uh, squarish now. Um, oh, and he's drunk. And the spanner's pretty much the same as it always is. I think it may have had a new couple of new moulds and been slightly reshaped, but other than that, it's fairly as was. So this is the entirety of the set with the exception of the spares, uh, which I have here. So these are all the spares. There's not that many, surprisingly. Um, the box contains two ba uh, bags parts and the instructions. Um, so you sort of say the instructions are very simple. Um, and then you've obviously got your parts thing at the back, which is just one page. Um, so it's clearly not a lot there. Um, there's no other real advertising for any of the sets uh, from the other bit of the theme. Um, either in the instructions or on the box really um, so it's a bit weird that they've done that um, but one thing I will do is, is pull out the other one here this is the current 2018 torso and here is a 1980s torso the printing is a bit thicker um, everything's a li little bit more neatened up but as you can see, everything is pretty much the same as it was in the 80s. Um, I think the biggest change is probably the spacecraft. It's a little bit bigger um, than what the original one was, and the and the you know just just generally it's just just the sharpening of printing. Um, the gold disc is a bit out of alignment on the 80s one, I think. So that's another major change. But other than that, they are pretty much the same in terms of the actual decal. So it's good to. That Lego is actually throwing um, is doing quite a good job of replicating the original um, sort of torso design. So, with this being the entirety of the set, obviously it's to do with play factor, and obviously you have a little buggy here. And they actually show on the box that the buggy is actually for two people. So, obviously that means that's a good thing uh, for fitting to. You can obviously mean you can carry two on there. The spacecraft is only only one, and it's a very simplistic design, but it's very much an 80s sort of aesthetic. Um, it's nice to see that we've got this uh, 2x4 printed slope again. I think um, it's not a new part, it's previously appeared in the uh, Benny Spaceship 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 set, so that is not a unique part to this set, but... No doubt some space fans will be happy to be getting that back in. There's not a lot to say about the construction of these uh, vehicles. They're all very simplistic. The one actually has boat studs to secure it. Um, and obviously you've got your spaceman. They're all pretty similar. Um, so with the exception of the colouring, three of them are the same. Benny's the only one because it's got the faded logo. Uh, the special head print and then the custom uh, moulded or specially moulded broken helmet. Um, but the rest are all the same. And they've all got air tanks, so all, all in their respect, respective colours, I should say. So yeah, there's not really a lot to talk about, to be honest with you. They get a nice lot of accessories. Um, you know, it's a really good uh, parts back in some respects uh, from some of the prints and all that sort of stuff. And it's good for monofigs as well because, with the exception of the heads, all four figures are one colour, including the helmets so you could quite literally strip all the print off uh, the torsos get yourself some custom get yourself some just plain heads and you've got yourself four monofigs already admittedly it's a bit of an expensive way to do it but they don't really make the yellow um, hips anymore so it's a good way to get that sort of stuff um, 
Right, so the pricing of this set, this set was £8.99 um, in British currency. And it's roughly that price point in other countries as well. It's a, re, re, For the price, it's actually quite good because you're looking at, I think somebody's sort of saying, you sort of averaging out, your, well, CMS is now 350 So if you reduce, so because these are fairly common and being produced in hundred, you know, hundreds of thousands of quantities, and the space set is actually selling out quite a lot as well, you're saying... Say it's a pound fifty for each of the figures. You're up to six pounds just in the figures alone. Uh, maybe two, considering it's got the air tanks as well, and they're specially moulded in some of these colours. They're not generally available in pink, for example. So maybe I don't know. Maybe eight for the figures. Then you get in the parts as well. So in terms of value, I think it's actually quite good. Obviously, if you're only buying it for like one of the space figures, it might not have been a, the best of investments, but. In terms of part, you know, even if you're not buying it for the builds and just buying it for the fees, I think it's actually worth that eight pounds ninety nine. Um, that's this review uh, dealt with, and uh, I'll see you later.